The independence case is a powerful one. More and more people in Scotland are being persuaded by it. And I believe passionately that it is one with the power to unite. An independent country where those of us who live here shape the future and work together to overcome our challenges will be good for all of us. A country fairer and more equal than it is now will be good for all of us. An economy that provides greater job and income security will be good for all of us. A Scotland that is an equal partner with our friends in the rest of the UK and across Europe will be good for all of us. Who do we want to be in the driving seat of shaping Scotland's future? Should it be Scottish governments of whatever party elected by the people of Scotland and with the priorities and interests of Scotland at heart? Or Westminster governments that time and again we have rejected? The Scottish Government has not got everything right, far from it. But I doubt there are many people in Scotland who would have wanted Westminster to be more in charge of our pandemic response. In the depth of crisis, we have looked to and trusted our own government and parliament to steer us through. We should do the same now as we look to rebuild. Our opponents will argue that independence is a distraction from that. They could not be more wrong. If we want to make sure that the country we rebuild is the one we want it to be, with kindness, compassion, fairness, equality and enterprise at its heart, and not one built in the image of Boris Johnson and his band of Brexiteers, we must work to the right plan with all the tools we need to do the job. Independence is not a distraction from the task of post-COVID reconstruction. It is essential to getting that right. Wherever we come from and whoever we vote for, we all care for Scotland. So let's get to it with hope, love and compassion. Let's continue to support each other through these turbulent times. And then together, let's build that better Scotland we know is possible.